Hey guys, it's iHeartshrooms, uh, bringing you another video about Gaia Online. Uh, this time I'm going to go over Lake Kindred. That's a pretty popular game and one of my favorites. Uh, so I went ahead and pre-launched the video. The first thing you want to do is click this mute button because it just screams at you. So I preloaded it just so you could hear me. Uh, let's go over some of the basics of this game. Um, you get these little animals. They're called kin. Uh, they, you can go in here. It shows you all their stats um, and information. Stamina, which is important. Ally points. That's a leveling up system. Uh, the first thing uh, to keep in mind is the stamina. and That's how many battles you can do with them. And uh, if if he's running low on stamina, all you gotta do is click the sleep button. He'll uh, can't use him while he's sleeping, but uh, you wait a little bit. Uh, you can actually close out the game while he's sleeping. Come back, unclick the sleep button, and uh, he'll regain the stamina. Let's see if this guy here. Let's wake him up. He's got all his stamina back. So. Uh, yeah. Now, Kindred is a little weird because you can get these new kin. You can start at level 1, or you could just buy them on the marketplace and just have a maxed out one already. Um, but a lot of people like leveling them up from level 1 because you can get rewards for leveling them up. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is the items. You have quite a quite a few different items here. Uh, but if you don't want to wait for them to sleep and regain stamina, you could just click here, use one of these on them. Um, they drop quite often in the game, or once again, you can buy them on the marketplace. Or, actually, marketplace, marketplace is pretty inflated on the item. Sometimes I'll just sell them for more than you can just buy them in the shop from. So... If you go over here to potions, you can buy them for 10, but on the marketplace, they're going for like, let's see, actually, yeah, mega, mega one here for 20, but on the marketplace, they're selling for like 100, so do it on ga in, in game here, or you could just buy a bunch here and sell them on marketplace and make a little bit. Um, all right, let's uh, start off. I got a level one kin here to show you the basics. Let's take him out to battle. All right, the easiest place is this. Uh, this is the starting place. It has the lowest level battles. So let's go there. Let's start a battle. Now some kins on level one have a pretty decent attack and life and everything already. Um, so you can take on another level one pretty easily, but if uh, you get uh, like a sucker a pegacorn or something like that, we uh, decent strat here is you get these, which are basically junk items, but they do ten points of damage, and this guy happens to have ten points of damage. So instead of just attacking normally, you could just spam a couple of these to level them up pretty quickly. And see uh, the ally points you get uh, whatever level it is goes to your ally points and it starts off low and it um, next time you level up it'll it'll have a higher uh, goal to get to level it up the next time and uh, the same thing goes with your skill level skill points um, start off at level one I've been playing this a while so I'm at 55 but it adds those points over here and when you level this up you'll get a reward um, same here actually if you level up a kin you'll get reward and some are specific to the type of kins um, uh, sometimes it'll be like a little mini figurine you can equip your avatar of the kin itself um, some of special items that you can only get from leveling up kin so I personally, uh, if you're new to the game, would just start at level 1 rather than buying on the marketplace. 
to get to end game quickly, but that's always an option. So, um, let's see if I can actually defeat him. Yeah, see, he he does pretty good early game, but some kids just start off with like one life and it's, it's and barely hit them, and then they can kill you pretty good. So sometimes it'll pop up this little uh, authentication to make sure you're a person. It's kind of hard to tell if you don't know the items, but I'm gonna guess that one, guess correctly. So sometimes you'll get some platinum over here as a reward. Sometimes you'll get some items. Um, we'll get to that in a little bit. Now that you know the basic battle, um, next next uh, stop you want to go is the Kindred Wilds, and this is uh, starting over here. They have different stages. This is stage one, and it's four to six over here. And you go over here to stage five, and it's twenty-five to thirty-five. So, uh, I would always recommend. Um, doing something that you're that is equal to or less than your kin's level. If you start over here, take your level one kin into battle. He gets the first move and will attack. And I'm surprised, but usually it'll kill you right away. So it's uh, if you want the first jump, you want to be a higher level than them. Um, you can use items in battle. Uh, sometimes you'll you want to use a health potion, and that won't take your attack. So if you use an item, let's go this guy. It'll give you a little uh, bonus, and you'll still have your attack. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of battle here. Uh, all right. Another thing I've mentioned in a different video, but once per day, we'll have a freebie item here. It'll be a little gift box, and you can click it and uh, get a special item. So that's worth popping into Lake Kindred just to get that every once in a while. All right. So there's different types of kins. Um, this one, uh, Volcaris, is... Uh, like a mid mid tier, he's all right, but he's not the best. Um, you could always go to the Lake Kindred forums to figure out which ones are good. People are pretty helpful there. You can uh, pop by my thread, uh, and I'll I'll try and help you out, or give you a couple of the mid tier guys if you want. Uh, Sakura Pegricorn Fluff is. Uh, the top tier best guy. It's kind of hard to get. Um, chances are, if you want to get him, you'll just buy him off the marketplace. Uh, just because he's so hard to grind for. Uh, the the kin the kins will drop off in a little egg as a reward if you beat them, and it's like a percentage chance. So let's say there's a one percent chance that. Um, you know that uh that uh you'll get the kin that you're fighting it's not a one percent chance but it's it's pretty down there um so uh this is shadow granny it's also kind of mid-tier um there's some kins you just don't want to play with because they're not great uh, a lot of these slimes and stuff it's just not worth playing so i'm just kind of get a feel for it. Let's see. So another thing to note is Actually, let's let's go through a couple of the stages. A lot of the stages will have a boss battle, and uh, they will drop item uh, specific items that are kind of worth more. Um, let's see if we can't find a boss here. This is the boss here. 
unless you have a really powerful can like a uh, Sakura Pegacorn Fluff powered up to level 50, it's going to be hard to take this guy on. I'll use my level 50 Shadow Granny, which is a mid tier, and see if I can't beat him. I highly doubt it, but it's worth a shot. And no, I'm just not going to take him on. And he killed me. Alright, so certain certain kins will have certain abilities. Um, this guy will stun him, uh, which means uh, you can attack, but he won't attack back because he's paralyzed, I guess. Um, a shadow granny uh, can confuse people, so sometimes they'll hurt themselves. Um, a pegacorn will uh, put them to sleep, so that's always nice. Alright, let's go in another high level battle. Let's just not quite the boss stage. I don't want to get a boss, but let's go here. And so here's your basic attack. And that's what you, if you have a level 1, that's all you can do. Um, next step up, you'll I think level 5, you'll get magic, which is, uh, I think it's a little bit better. It's both, it's all right. It's, um, way you have to use at the beginning but when you level up you'll get new abilities over here and skills and um, this was the first ability I got all the way down to this was the best ability I have now so go ahead and use that and a lot of this games it's it, it's it's kinda like Pokemon but it's very very quick battles it's all about grinding getting the platinum getting the items so it's a pretty simple game once you get the hang of it. Um, so a lot of these guys drop platinum. Um, you just saw a rig I got. The picture didn't show up, but that that was what I got was a rig here. That's also a rig. I don't know why the picture isn't showing up, but. Uh, this guy's worth like 10 platinum in marketplace but uh, if if you go you there's different ones that'll drop some are worth a lot more than others um, see this let's go let's go here so a lot of times for most stages what will drop as a reward is a capsule and that capsule contains a random rig item. Let's see if I can't get one. It'll contain a random rig item. Um, you can sell the capsule on Marketplace. You can use the capsule. Here's here's a like Kinder capsule. You can use it to open a rig. You can sell that on Marketplace, or you could. If you haven't got the items or just like collecting or whatever, you can just use that item. But um, it's 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 about uh, depending on where you get it. These these capsules can be anywhere from uh, ten to two hundred platinum each. So uh, that's where your money's going to be made if you're making uh, if you're using platinum currency. Uh, a lot of people, if they're using gold currency, will farm, I think it's, you know, Kindred Wilds, uh, boss here is a sycamore tree, and uh, they'll drop quite a bit of gold. I heard it's a lot less for platinum, but you will need probably a um, sucker pegacorn fluff to defeat them. Um, I don't grind that because I don't got a pegacorn up that high. I got a few level 50s, but they're not the pegacorns. Um, so bosses drop specific items depending where you are. Um, this guy here is a water meat boss. It'll drop a Jack's uh, grab bag, which you can get the water meat can in, where it's like 
fifteen thousand platinum on marketplace. Um, all these places drop different stuff. You go to one of these labs, and they'll drop Halloween candy, which uh, is used in alchemy, or you can once again sell it on marketplace. You get a decent price for those. Um, Yeah, I think that's a basic overview. I mean, it will, uh, you'll get the hang of it and be pretty easy, but um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a comment down below or contact me on Guy Online. Um, my name is iHeart Shrooms. Uh, send me a PM or you can stop by my thread here. I, uh, down below, I have a section for Lake Kindred here. There's a, there's a guide here. Um, I also, down below, I think in the guides here, I have a couple Lake Kindred, maybe. Maybe not, but also uh, here. Garden uh, of Kindred Bounty. Uh, a good friend of mine runs this charity. I'm sure that they can answer your questions too. Um, or you could just stop by the Lake Kindred Forum and uh, ask people. There's uh, there's guides around. I know I did a quick explanation. I probably forgot a couple things, but um, hopefully that'll get you started. All right.